All right, what I'm doing now is diving the boat. I've opened up the vent valve. And down we go. And I promptly hit the buoy. There we go. There's a slight porpoising tendency on the turn, even with the dorsal rudder engaged. But you can see the turning radius is pretty good. Go to all stop here. Kill my headway rather. Now the normal uh, submerged stream is just a bit of the sail sticking out of the water, as you can see. There we are. What I'm doing, I'm going to surface the boat now. So I've started to blow. What's happening is we're taking air in through the snorkel and that's blowing out the water in the ballast tank. It's about a uh, 60 second operation. There we are. I'm going to go a wide turn here, alternating between back and down and shifting the rudder. I do this without hitting that beach ball. Yeah. Try to get back in frame here. There we are. Okay. capture the uh, submerging part of the cycle again. Back down a little bit, I've opened the vent and you can see from a uh, dead in the water condition it uh, submerges rather stately. Actually I'm learning how to drive underwater backwards using the bow planes. We did that on the Trutta when I was in the Navy a little bit. We were able to do it for a few minutes, and we just lose it. All right, killing my headway. All right, good. Now the boat. I haven't uh, touched the ballast system here. The boat is. Just a bit positive in submerged trim, so the tip of the uh, sail sticks out. Alright, now I'm commanding a blow. Initially it takes air from the uh, dry spaces, but uh, once the uh, sail broaches, the snorkel opens and breaks the partial vacuum created within the dry spaces, and, uh, and of course the air now coming from atmosphere quickly uh, scavenges out the water in the ballast tank and up it comes. Again, about 60 seconds to uh, make the transition from submerged to surface trim.
Now, of course, if I was using a gas system, it would have been immediate, but then again, it would have been a rather ugly affair. I prefer this. So I'm going to reset the uh, camera height, trying to get a better view of this thing as it applies around the water here. Okay. All right, going back to Smart's tram opening the vent. Um, I, while I'm doing that, I put some dive in the stern planes. All right, dive in the bow planes. And there we are, we're in Smurch Tram. I'm going to kill my headway, so we're dead in the water. Even at, uh, it looks like two and a half, almost three foot, slowly the model is uh, ascending until it broaches the sail, as you see here. And uh, once the inertia is out of it, uh, it will eventually settle on maybe a half inch of the sail out of the water. So, I'm going to hit it with some heavy-duty rudder, and I just firewalled it. I want you to see how fast this thing will go. Yeah, I got too much stern plane on. I'll take some of that off. There we are. Don't want to bounce against the uh, bottom of the pool there. There we are. Not a big old brooch. Well, that's enough of that. I'm going to save some battery here. I want to take some underwater shots of this thing. So, off it goes. <laughs> 